Hi, my name is Heather. I'm a text-to-speech voice from Acapella Group. Today, I'd like to speak to you about Speech Over Professional software that lets presentation authors and course developers add an update voice narration to PowerPoint presentations right on the desktop with professional-sounding text-to-speech voices like mine. No need for microphone recording and voice talents. This presentation was produced by SpeechOver and converted to video with Camtasia. While watching this presentation, notice the following. Notice the excellent diction and articulation of our voices for better clarity and communication. It is achieved by SpeechOver's voice punctuation. Notice the synchronization of the voice narration with PowerPoint animations for better learning impact. Speech over syncs the voice automatically. Notice the optional subtitles. They are generated automatically. Deval's software engineers set out to provide an alternative to the cost and especially the hassle of using human voice recording in presentations, the scheduling problems, the production delays, and the out-of-date presentations. Let's hear how our customers describe these issues in their own words. As spoken by Ryan, a text-to-speech voice from a cappella. Using human voices makes it more difficult to create and maintain the training. Only a few people have the quality voice with minimal accent to perform the recordings, creating a resource constraint. Usually, the e-learning was out of date with the subject of the training and quickly became obsolete. In our first project, we used human voiceover. We found that the added production time and having to schedule around voiceover, plus redoing entire segments for one small correction to get the sound to match, was prohibitive both in cost and in time. We were looking for something that provided us with a short production and turnaround time that our small development team could do in-house. Something easy to edit and change on the fly without having to send it out or schedule lengthy voiceover work. A straight recording of the subject matter expert keeps all of the errors, speaking too fast, low sound quality, running off topic. Maintaining the recorded voice requires an entire re-recording and production where TTS is much simpler. Deval engineers solved these issues by integrating text-to-speech voices into PowerPoint. And they succeeded in producing slide narration from text without any recording. The result was speech over. Developers can now completely eliminate voice recording. Alternatively, Developers that prefer real human voices can use text-to-speech voices to integrate the narration into the presentation during development, and then, in the final version, replace them with imported sound files recorded by voice talents, saving costs and development time. Let's look at the elements of the speech over solution. Start with the PowerPoint training or e-learning presentation to which voice narration is to be added. The presentation has bulleted text and graphics that, in a live course, are explained by the instructor. With SpeechOver, the instructor's explanations for each object are written in separate text elements and attached to the objects. Animations are used by SpeechOver to direct the viewer's attention to objects as the narrator speaks about them just as a live presenter would do by pointing to them. The best text-to-speech voice software available from top vendors are used by SpeechOver to convert the input texts into professional voice narration. SpeechOver uses a speech engine that accepts text input and a text-to-speech voice and generates a sound media file which speaks the narrated text. Are you all with me? Good. Now we'll put together all these elements to add a narration clip to a screen object using a simple dialogue. 
To add a narration clip to a selected screen object, the user links a text element, a TTS voice, and an animation to it. The user sets these links with the Add Narration Clip dialog. First select the screen object to which you want to add voice narration, the oval shape. Hit the New Shape Clip button on the ribbon, or right click and select New Shape Clip. The Add Narration Clip to Shape dialog appears. The selected shape name appears at the top. Select the text-to-speech voice from the drop-down box or use the default voice. Enter the narration text to be spoken when the oval is animated. Finally, set the animation properties for the oval shape. All the links are now completed. When you click OK on the dialog, SpeechOver gets the text element and the TTS voice that you linked to the screen object. Activates the speech engine, which then creates a voice narration media file. SpeechOver creates an animated voice track for the slide by concatenating the media file effects and the animation effects in order. First, the first bullet. Then the second bullet. The third bullet. And finally the oval shape. The SpeechOver Clip Organizer shows all the clips on the slide. And, it lets you change their order in the slide voice track with up and down arrows. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Now, let's see more of the powerful features of SpeechOver Professional. SpeechOver lets you use a cappella voice tools to teach the voices how to say difficult words like highly technical ones, company names, and slogans. The Sappy Voice Modulation Editor lets you change speed, pitch, and volume, accent a word, and enter different types of voice pauses by just entering special punctuation characters in the text, making them easy to use. SpeechOver's voice punctuation makes text-to-speech voices speak with the diction and articulation of a professional voice. Use voice schemes to determine how voices are assigned to the PowerPoint shapes for the entire presentation. SpeechOver can automatically save the text used to make the narration into the speaker notes. You can cut and paste narration clips from one screen object to another. You can also add narration clips to the slide background. Especially useful for static slides. The narration text can be made to appear as subtitles. In addition to using text-to-speech for the narration, you can import a sound file or record your own voice. You can convert the presentation to flash or video with popular tools like Articulate, Camtasia, iSpring and Captivate, and, of course, PowerPoint. Let's hear how our customers describe their experiences with SpeechOver in their own words, as related by Ryan. We were concerned that the voice would be too mechanized sounding. It turned out not to be, and was well accepted by students. The software actually helped us reduce the length of training by having the subject matter experts edit their transcripts and eliminate extra unnecessary speech. The ease of converting the text to voice, coupled with the ability to go back and instantly change, edit, and correct narration on a single slide, and have it exactly match the voice volume, timber, etc. of every other slide, recorded days or weeks or months earlier, is invaluable. Short technical slash repair training modules that took us a month or more to develop and schedule voiceover and revoiceover to correct and edit, now literally take us just days to develop, start to finish, right on the desktop. We have had no complaints at all about the voice in the presentations and our technical training modules using TTS have been successfully taken by hundreds of students worldwide as part of their technical service training. Acceptance by the students has been 100%. When we researched TTS about five years ago, the higher quality voices were too expensive. Today, 
those same voices are much less expensive and have broken that barrier of being too computerish. The TTS technology, coupled with the software, allowed us to create e-learning material in about half the time as human voiceover. The maintenance of the e-learning material takes 75% less time. We have produced courses for 6,000 people in the company. Try SpeechOver today and start receiving these benefits in your organization. That's it for today. Thank you, and goodbye.